KD and Kyrie destroyed the Celtics but before we get into that, Steph Curry and the Warriors losing by 37. So they've lost by a combined 66 points in the last two games. Now in the first game, they got beat by the Nets, a great team. And now they lost to the Bucks, another great team. In the first game against the Nets, they lost by 20, I believe. In this one against the Bucks, they got blown out by like 37. And Curry said, we gotta get better. He said our IQ gotta get better when we're missing shots. And he said, we gotta win immediately. Andrew Wiggins is really not helping. And Kelly Oubre, he think he can now to run to a W. So Kelly Oubre right here, Steph Curry inbounds the ball and he was just dribbling, 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 dribbling and dribbling for like 14 seconds. And then he threw up a terrible shot. He was actually open way earlier. He could have taken a better shot, but he chose to drive, went up a terrible shot, but he got fouled. But you could see Steph Curry's reaction. He was not happy and Steve Kerr couldn't believe it. Now we got to give the Warriors a break. They don't got Klay Thompson and they don't got Draymond right now. So to me, I get what Steph Curry is saying. They got to get better, but they can't win. The Warriors were betting on Klay Thompson coming back and Draymond Green being available. But those players are gone. And right now, just think about this. If you think the Warriors are bad now, if Curry gets subbed out, the Warriors have nobody. Andrew Wiggins can't do nothing. Kelly Oubre can't really do much. And just imagine when Kelly Oubre, Andrew Wiggins, and Curry are sitting down. The bench is terrible. So to me, the Warriors, we gotta give him a break. And Steph Curry gotta go easy on these players because it's a bunch of rookies and a bunch of players who have never started. So we're gonna see how the Warriors progress, but so far it ain't looking too good. But who really cares? I mean, I didn't really expect the Warriors to do much. They don't got Clay. Draymond should be back maybe soon. Curry's out there by himself. And before I talked about Kyrie Irving and KD destroying the Celtics, well, they went crazy. And take a look at this crazy shot by Kyrie. Kyrie Irving had 37. And right here, take a look at this. Fadeaway 3 by Jason Tatum over Kyrie. What a difficult shot. As we know, he hit the game winner against the Bucks. Right here, KD pulls up. He can't be stopped. You know when KD and Kyrie link up, that's 7-11. Right here, Kyrie on the fast break lays it up. So Kyrie had 37. Kevin Durant had 29. They're looking great. Right here, KD goes in the paint, dunks it. Kerry had 29, Katie had 37. Another great shot by Kerry right there. Spencer had 6, Joe Harris had 9, DeAndre Jordan had 4, Jerry Allen had 9, Karis LeVert had 10. So right now with the Nets, it's just Katie and Kerry going crazy. They're playing great. Hopefully, they keep it up because right now the rest of the team, it just looks like if Katie and Kerry drop 30 each, the third player is going to have like 10 points. So we're going to see what happens going forward. Can they win the East? It's still early to tell, but we're going to see. Hopefully, we get to see the Nets and Lakers in the finals. You guys let me know what you think. And I'm out.